Hello. May I welcome you a hug from the rain, making your rainy days better. During my final year of BA Design Studies, I have discovered my speciality, which I have been able to look into depth. My interested topic was mindfulness-based stress reduction. Due to the situation of COVID-19, there are some individuals who live alone and may be feeling stressed upon personal problems and also have anxiety to go into the outdoors. From this, I thought to investigate how could I develop a minimalist design that supports this? Though, first looking into context was crucial in order to create my product for my target audience. Throughout my time of practicing mindfulness, I have come across the Japanese culture to look into. Seeing as though a few Japanese anime films I've watched from Studio Ghibli contain scenes that are aesthetically peaceful made me wonder how they value their well-being in real life. I was able to read a few books which are shown on here and research in order to benefit my development of producing a design intervention that will initially help those who are at home during the pandemic. I was able to reach out to a few professionals in Tokyo and London, the two busiest cities to differentiate how both cultures manage their well-being. You can check out my Tumblr blog for the rest of the interviews that were conducted. I learned that going into nature, such as walks, was the main element that both cultures seem to do. From the interviews, I learned how the role of nutrition is looked upon more in Japan, even though both cultures seem to use fresh air as a way of de-stress. From this, I am taking forward the idea of creating a device that creates sounds of nature, such as rain. But why rain? Rain has therapeutic benefits, such as boosting moods and a perfect way of personal reflection. This is also rhythmic and known as pink noise, which is a soothing background noise which intends to calm us down. For a day, I was able to gain experience at a primary school where the children had an activity based on rain. This was to show how rain stimulates creativity. From this activity, the children had collected rain from pots and pans and used coloured powder to mix with the rainwater. This activity was enjoyable to release creativity. From this, it gave me an idea that maybe I could focus on the aspects of colours too. This therefore showed, from a young age, rain benefits human development by being exposed to different sensory experiences, as there are so many sights, sounds, smells, touches to be experienced, which helps to improve general connection with nature. This is a conceptual idea of nature in the box. I want to create a product that makes you feel as though nature is with you. It would be sensory and visual. I understood that there are developed apps for mindfulness. As I tried using the Headspace app, most of these contained activities and sounds that you'd listen to. I saw that there were rain audios, meditation sessions, though I thought that even though they are beneficial for mental health, what if we don't want to use our phones? Some of us want to have space from our phones. Therefore, I wanted to develop a physical object where you can interact with and feel connected with it. As a designer, I feel as though there isn't much physical objects developed for anxiety, as they are mostly apps. Therefore, this could be the start of it. My first idea was to create three boxes, a rain box that creates sounds of the rain from using mechanism, a light box 
that reflects patterns to captivate the person who uses it. And finally, a sensory box that lets off natural calming scents. The three boxes would initially work together as a family, and this could be placed on a table, desk or shelf. There would also be hand size so that it would not take up so much space. The rain box would be 14 by 14 with a rotational mechanism device that turns the tube with the granules to create the rain sounds. However, I was not satisfied with this outcome as I struggled to create the sounds because the mechanism was slow and was not compatible with the timing which was therefore not successful at making the light rain sounds. I thought about developing something interactive and comforting instead of operating it. If I wanted something sensory, keeping it interactive would be beneficial. For the scented box, I experimented using essences and plain wax candles to captivate calming scents. The smells would be let off naturally, which would help distract the person's thoughts. For the light box, I wanted this to reflect specks, which would create a mesmerising, captivating effect that will reflect patterns. I knew I wanted to use iridescent materials as this colour is mesmerising, and also, we don't exactly know the colour of rain. This material was a perfect example of showing this representation. I felt as though the patterns on the rain box prototype wasn't relative to rain, as it was floral and out of context. I thought about creating rain patterns. Since the object would create the sound of rain, it would therefore be relative the inspiration of rain patterns was from Hasaki. He was a Japanese artist who drew rain patterns, vertical lines, which appeared to look realistic as to how we would view rain. As I experimented from the outcome, I wasn't sure about the lines as it was thick. I was happy about the iridescent effect since it looked aquatic when it was reflected onto the walls and settings. I knew I had to experiment more with making realistic rain reflections in order to achieve this. As I experimented more with the light box, I thought about making the installation bigger to reflect the patterns across the space. However, this seemed to have not fit into context and I therefore thought about merging parts of my experiments as one object which would be simple to use. From these prototypes, it has helped me learn what fits into context clearly. I discovered the design errors. It helped me understand what materials are essential to communicate what I'm trying to show, whether it is effective or not. I was able to test the design's correctness before it came into production. My final idea was to create a 14 by 14 box that is interactive, sensory, by using materials that emulate the sound of the rain. This would be hidden into two parts of the box. On the inside would contain LED light, which reflects rain patterns across the room. The whole point of the object is to make the person feel relaxed and also distract their stressful thoughts by being captivated by the sounds and visuals of the reflections. This object can be placed on a table or shelf to reflect the lighting and also be held by hand in order to interact with so that it can make the sounds. This is a mood board which helps me to bridge the gap between the language and visuals, which establishes the name of the object. This supported me to look back on as a motivation, to make sure my object would express the theme shown on the board, 
and not lose its meaning. For my target audience, this would be for individuals who find comfort in rain. This object can be used in a dark setting where you prefer to lie down or sit up and use the object to interact with. For the branding of my product, I wanted to link this with the branding archetype of the caregiver. This archetype is identified as being caring, nurturing and reassuring. The name, A Hug From The Rain, associates how during lockdown, some of us can't have human interaction of hugging. The feelings that the box would give when using it would create the same effect. I wanted the theme to be minimal and grey, to pair neutral, to target both genders. Minimalism offers less stress, less distraction, more freedom towards the object. I feel that less is better because it concentrates on the essential part and the product would not be burdened with non-essentials. I developed an instruction manual which contains information about the box on how to use it, what it is and its use. Working on the inside of the box prototype, I first developed four tubes which circulate around the LED component containing rice and silk as these two materials seem to emulate the sound of the light rain as when it was being moved. To refine this, I then created a layer underneath my prototype which contains materials and granules that emulate the sound of the rain as we slowly move the box as I wanted it to be hidden. I also focused on the facade borders of my box. When we move the box, we'll be touching the borders and this would contain recycled materials such as plastic wrapping and soft material since I found it that these create the soft sounds. On top of the light box component would contain a cubed box layer that will have rain patterns around it so that when the LED light is on, this would be reflected against the walls and the setting, preferably in the dark. I experimented using paint to create these thin strokes of rain and pieces of paper. I was satisfied with the reflections across the room. I felt as though LED lighting was a way of controlling the colour. This was a reflection from the work experience I did with the children when they experimented with using coloured chalk in rainwater. When the person uses the object, they can select whatever colour they want. Because blue is not just associated with mindfulness, you can find peace within your own favourite colour too. Mindfulness gives us time to have personal reflections. I wanted to add two additional pages to the instruction manual where the individual can write their thoughts and also draw rain as a way of creativity. Therefore, the person would form a connection with the box as this would create a sense of comfort and feeling at home with the object. Inside the packaging will contain an instruction manual and one of the pages are based on colour control. This allows the person to choose whatever colour they desire and want. This would also advise and inspire them to select a colour that will make them feel calm. This was a demonstration of how to use the box, rotating it and touching the borders as you move it. When making the finalised object, 
I refined the light box on the inside by printing rain patterns drawn graphically, imprinted on sticker vial, placed around the box. This made the outcome seem neat on the inside and less distracting and aesthetically pleasing. I then also placed the iridescent sheets on the inside so that it would help reflect the mesmerising colours. As you can see, I made a layer of the box and the borders of the box with balsa wood and painted it in black. I wanted to place an opalescent dome on top of the light component as I felt as though it was harsh and exposed. I was happy with the outcome and this kept the object minimal on the inside. I contained a border with plastic and soft materials which emulated the sound of the rain. I wanted to cover this with a layer of fabric so that it was not distracting and as you can see it created the sound of the light rain of crickles and crackles. This was then protected by acetate around the borders. I found that rotating the box every three seconds slowly would create the light sound rain. Therefore this information would be illustrated in the instruction manual. We now come to human experience. This has benefited me to understand how I could develop it in the future and what iterations I could make. like how tall the rain because it made me feel so calm there were so many different colors which really relaxed me and i also loved the sounds as well it's such a calming effect i think in the future to develop the hug from the rain it would be fantastic to see maybe a different iteration in the form of a hug from the ocean and i can see that this could build on what's already been developed in terms of making even more of a calming effect. But I really love this product. Thank you. A hug from the rain distracted my thoughts. I enjoyed touching the edges as the sounds were created. I prefer this compared to a mindfulness app and videos. As this is interactive and physical, there should be more of it. I am happy with the outcome of the hug from the rain. I feel as though it does what it needs to do as it contains its essential aspects. It fits into the world as this design helps us to engage and create personal reflections. And due to the worldwide pandemic, according to the BBC, mental health problems have worsened across all age groups in the past year. I feel as though mental health isn't really spoken much about within design itself. And I therefore would hope to look into developing designs that will benefit those who are going through stress and anxiety as everyone deserves peace and comfort in the busy world we live in.
love from a hug from the rain thank you